Look how nice that is. Mm -hmm. I come back. You can do a little bit of the shoe shine. Okay, then you can do this technique. Come in right in the middle of the arch. Step down, step in the gas. Relax, pull up. Step down, pull up. Step down, pull up. Relax. So that second one. Oh, second one. Okay. Uh, can you gotta do something to get this foot mobile, baby. Can you do this? Uh, this when people plantar fasciitis. Plantar fasciitis is something that is, uh, for me, I love that diagnosis because if they have that diagnosis, I have a really good chance of helping them. As far as my um, my, my predictions for con certain conditions, you might ask me. Plantar fasciitis, even they're 75 years old and they've been in a lot of pain for 10 years. Do the myofascial techniques, do the uh, LAS. You're not going to do what I just did to Thayer because they won't tolerate that. What they'll tolerate is this. And that little bit of release is enough to start breaking down this pain. And they're so happy because the doctor gave them the diagnosis. You're going to have this for the rest of your life. <laughs> Here's the evil baby. You're going to have this for the rest of your life. Okay? Uh, Papa Teal, easy. I'm, I'm going to use one, one finger just like this, but I'm going to bend his knee. I usually have my patients under pillows. It's going to be uncomfortable anyway. Okay, I'm going to go right in the middle of the Papa Teal. I'll put pressure up. Now I'm going to drag a little bit. Downward. Downward. Nice. Okay. <laughs> we say, my sons will say to me, if you know you're enduring pain, my sons will say, suck it up, princess. People say that in the United States. It means, don't cry. Be a man. We use this technique for which cases? Patients who don't pay you on time. Okay. 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 Um, Becker's doing this. You can do it for a knee problem, okay. or we can do it for what we're doing now is the eight diaphragms. He, he wants to do something to release this diaphragm, this diaphragm, this diaphragm. What this about baker cyst? If it, you're not going to make a baker cyst go away. Yes. And okay, if, if, that, if that's going to be very painful, you may skip that. Yes. Because you're just going to irritate it. Can we do it to the okay. tight muscles? Or yeah, but this is not. We're not doing it to the hamstring. Okay. We're, 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 we're going to do hamstring techniques the specifically. Limitation, the limitation with the extension. With the yes. Extension yes. The extension. Yes. But this technique right now is for popliteal. If they have a bit. Yeah, if they have a Baker cyst, if they have a Baker cyst, they have the synovial lining has extruded throughout the, through the kneecap, okay, and they have synovium down into their gastrox and their soleus. So this is just going to further irritate them. You're just going to further create synovial fluid. Can you show me just your hand positioning? I'm, I'm, this is what I did. I pushed this finger. I used this hand to push this finger up and then pull. Just one? Just one. Yeah, just one is all I need. They're showing a bunch of fingers, but I'm just doing one. Okay. Huh? Yeah. Yes. Yeah, it's similar. Oh, similar. 